which cryptocurrency is being attacked by the SEC after excerpt. How long will crypto holders believe in Ripple? How much will excerpt cost in mid-2020? 3. We will answer all these. A new development in the SEC's action against Ripple. A blockchain company has the potential to dramatically affect the ultimate result as the cryptocurrency world awaits the summary judgment. The SEX expert has stated that changes in the values of Bitcoin and Ethereum have been responsible for up to 90s of swings in the price of XRP since mid-2018, as reported by lawyer Bill Morgan in a tweet on April 7. He hypothesized that if the SEX premise about its expert's knowledge is correct, it may mean that Ripple is allowing the value of XRP to be affected by the swings in the value of Bitcoin and Ethereum. Therefore, the SEC tries to prove the claim by providing proof that XRP's value is affected by Ripple's price announcements. Morgan's point is bolstered by the fact that the value of Bitcoin affects the value of most cryptocurrencies. Morgan also noted that the view that XRP is a security and that Ripple's large XRP holdings imply centralization of the XRP ledger remains. Importantly, the SEX is suing Ripple for offering XRP coins for sale without first registering them as securities. Ripple is seeking to defend itself by having the regulator's remarks from a lecture he gave in which he referred to Bitcoin and Ethereum as securities unsealed. The SEC claims that investors are counting on Ripple's legal efforts to succeed, and Morgan agrees. The lawyer further clarified that investors do not expect Ripple's commercial activities to earn profits from XRP, but rather on the company's legal efforts to emerge triumphant in the SEC litigation. Contrary to what the SEC believes, Ripple's legal efforts defeating the SEC's lawsuit, should it be successful, mean that investors were right to put faith in the company? Jeremy Hogan, another advocate of XRP, used Morgan's comments to forecast a surprising verdict in the case. Since even the SEC acknowledges that Ripple's activities after mid-2018 had no effect on the token's value, Hogan hypothesized that if the presiding judge opted to split the baby, she might determine that XRP sales after mid-2018 were not securities. Even the SEC admits that Ripple's activities have had essentially no influence on XRP's price since mid-2018. Thus, the judge, in the Ripple case, if she wanted to split the baby, that's a dreadful expression, isn't it? May decide that sales of XRP since then were not securities. Hogan said that the verdict might have far-reaching consequences, including the possibility that Ripple would have to pay a fee just to keep doing business as usual. As the sole cryptocurrency with a well-defined legal position, Hogan pointed out that XRP may have an impact on how other digital assets are treated by exchanges. Meanwhile, the timing of the summary judgment remains a matter of conjecture. The first estimated timing for the lawsuit verdict was the first quarter of 2023, according to some legal experts. The overall value of XRP and the cryptocurrency market might be affected by the verdict in this case. XRP is up around 1 on the week, trading at 50. 1 cents right now. Ripple Labs has been fighting the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission aggressively, and their most recent filing is no exception. In response to the SEC's letter of supplemental authority about the regulator's motion for summary judgment, Ripple Labs presents a confident and powerful rebuttal. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, has cited an enforcement action against investment advice company Commonwealth Equity Services as evidence in its ongoing legal dispute with Ripple Labs. The legal team for Ripple, however, has replied quickly, stating that the reference decision has no bearing on their fair notice position. The SEC is suing Ripple Labs and two of its executives, Brad Garlinghouse and Chris Larson, alleging that they raised over $1.00 three cents billion in an unregistered continuing digital asset security sale. Ripple's principal line of defense is that the SEC didn't give it enough time to prepare for the securities fraud action. It plans to file in December 2020. The SEC submitted oral arguments to the presiding judge on April 11, 
stressing the Commonwealth judgment that a long-standing court precedent provides enough fair notice. The SEC stated that Ripple Labs had sufficient notice of what defines a security because of the precedent that led to the formulation of the Howey test. The SEC said that their case against Commonwealth provides more support for their decision to reject Ripple's reasonable notice position. On April 13, however, Ripple's legal team submitted a response in which they argued that the decision referenced by the Commonwealth did not offer further precedent for dismissing Ripple's fair notice position. The letter to the Honorable Annalisa Torres, District Judge, outlined the key distinctions. Ripple argued that the Commonwealth case lacked contemporaneous evidence, while Ripple's situation involves abundant evidence, including communications from the SEC to third parties, showing that reasonable market participants did not consider Ripple's offers and sales of extra pay as investment contracts. In addition, Ripple stressed in their answer that whether or not the Securities Act applies to their offers and sales of XRP is a threshold issue in their case. Since the court had previously rejected the sex reliance on such instances, the legal team contended that the sex reference to an unbroken chain of district court decisions rejecting fair notice defenses was irrelevant. The defense for Ripple argued that the most similar case, Upton, is a binding precedent and decided in favor of the defendant's fair notice claim, and that the court should do the same. After the conclusion of the Ripple v. Sec lawsuit, Excerpt is expected to be one of the best performing assets. Ben Armstrong, well known by his stage name BitBoy, persists in promoting this version of events. The well-known crypto influencer recently said that the resolution of the lawsuit will provide a windfall to XARP holders who had held out. On Wednesday, BitBoy turned to Twitter to air his thoughts, using a famous remark often ascribed to philosopher Seneca. He said that when the Ripple VC case is resolved, it will be the closing of one era and the beginning of another. The Ripple case may be resolved at any time. When one thing finishes, another one begins. The new thing is that if you stay with Axerp and the Thuxerp army, you can make a lot of money. It's time to start eating your rations. According to him, when the protracted legal actions with the SEC are through, the new chapter will begin and Exerp investors will begin to generate enormous profit. He urged the XRP army to keep going, saying that the payoff for their efforts was just around the corner. In addition, BitBoy said he believes the ongoing legal battle between Ripple and the SEC will soon come to a close. Since the famous crypto influencer had earlier projected that the litigation will finish in September 2021, the XRP on community is treating this remark with a grain of salt. BitBoy said openly that he was wrong when he predicted September 2021. Although the trial schedule is likely to wrap up soon, he stressed that his recent comments were not idle speculation but rather based on hard data. As was previously reported, attorney John Deaton anticipated a decision by May 6. It's great that people are criticizing me because I think the Ripple case will be resolved shortly. I thought it will all be over by September of 2020. 1. I've never been more specific than that date. No such thing occurred. The Oxerp lawsuit will soon come to a close. That's not a forecast. Dochebags, the trial period has come to an end.